Hi, good evening. Uh, you see, yes, I was telling you that why the Bharatiya Janata Party, though put all their efforts and all their focus on um, West Bengal prior to 2021 assembly elections, despite that, BJP had to remain satisfied with only 77 MLAs. Why BJP could not win the elections of assembly? in 2021 and um, this is a I, I, I actually conducted a study and um, this uh, the, the study was uh, published in a book I, I published a book in 2021 after the elections the name of the book is why BJP was defeated and CPIM and Congress were advanced the study of 2021 assembly elections this is a great, uh, it is a research work which I uh, uh, did prior to uh, prior to elections of uh, 2021. But I have understood from the study that BJP did a lot of mistakes, though they put all their efforts, um, a majority of the stalwarts of uh, of Bharatiya Janata Party uh, came to uh, the state West Bengal and uh, many 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 oppo opposition leaders and uh, the observers or political observers said that uh, they, st they had started daily passenger in uh, in this uh, in this uh, state. But uh, despite that, you see, you will see, you will understand or you will remember that um, when the the, the what is it the convoys of the Bharatiya Janata Party's uh, leaders Modi uh, Narendra Modi and Amit Shah's uh, what is it campaigns uh, were uh, were going on in different places or different districts in West Bengal then uh, the uh, rose petals were being thrown uh, on the people or on the roadsides and uh, there was such a situation that uh, BJP uh, will definitely uh, come to. Uh, power, but what happened actually uh, in uh, after the declaration of result, it was seen uh, that uh, BJP could not win uh, even 100 seats in West Bengal. So why, why the uh, Bharatiya Janata Party, despite all their focus uh, on all their efforts, could not win the elections? Uh, so I would like to tell you uh, in brief. Uh, uh, I would like to um, share with you my study and I hope that the Bharatiya Janata Party should learn from their lessons because I see that still these year also these in, uh, prior to Lok Sabha elections also so there are there are some uh, political leaders who after uh, after, after uh, 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 not getting tickets they are uh, going to Delhi and some some uh, people, some people are coming to the Bharatiya Janata Party's doors and their doors are open uh, and they are giving them, uh, they are giving, uh, uh, I mean, uh, warm welcome to them. Uh, though the Bharatiya Janata Party workers, uh, in this very uh, tough time, they, uh, they fought a lot for, uh, uh, for the party uh, against, uh, against uh, the existing uh, Trinamool Congress. But they were deprived of, they were completely deprived of, they were denied of tickets. So um, I would li I'd like to say, I would like to give you more detailed or more minute, what I say, analysis why Bharatiya Janata Party uh, was defeated in 2021 assembly elections. You see, uh, uh, yes, let me start. Right, the BJP, despite putting its full focus, strength and attention on Bengal, failed to cross three digits which proved truth to the words of Prashant Kishore. Yeah, Prashant Kishore, you all know that Prashant Kishore is a, is a poll strategist and he said that um, that BJP, uh, BJP will not be able to cross three digits. And, and after the declaration of elec election uh, results, uh, his words uh, uh, proved uh, true. So, um, uh, and he said that, he, he even, even said that uh, if the BJP um, gets more than three digit, uh, uh, I mean, uh, three digits uh, MLS, three digit, uh, uh, what I say, uh, number of uh, MLS, then he will leave this profession, right? Uh, uh, like he will leave his profession. So it was such a big challenge. 
So such was the uh, level of confidence, credence and boldness of a professional whole strategist uh, like PK before whom the entire BJP team was flattened on the ground. So at the end of the day, uh, the scoreboard showed that Mamata Banerjee, the TMC Supremo, uh, for whom PK worked as a strategist alone on in 213 uh, seats, alone, Trinamool Congress, alone on 213 uh, seats out of 293 seats, right, two seats more than the, um, uh, more than the seats uh, that they own in 2026 and the BJP had to satisfy itself with only 77 seats. So another striking fact was that the CPIM made an alliance with the decaying Indian National Congress party. Um, I, I don't think that uh, CPIM and uh, the Congress uh, have uh, much relevance in West Bengal because you, know, you see you will not find them here in, uh, in West Bengal. Uh, those, though in some political meetings and, and maybe some uh, conferences or maybe some processions and protest movements, you will find that the uh, enormous presence of uh, the, the comrades uh, but ultimately, those are not reflected in the uh, in the what I say ballot boxes, right? Uh, so uh, these two former parties failed to open their account in Bengal, which is again a record in Bengal politics since independence uh, for uh, both INC and CPIM. So all the leaders of two parties, that is CPIM and Congress, were seen to fall flat on their face with the declaration of election results. This indicates the fall of the tyrannical and disruptive politics, uh, bad governance in Bengal rendered by both the left and the right parties in two cycles from 1947 to 1977 was uh, ruled by, uh, by, 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 by Congress and um, mainly by Congress and from 1977 uh, to 2011 uh, it was, uh, the entire 34 years was uh, ruled by uh, left front uh, led by CPIM and the absolute rejections of slogans right and so what were the slogans of uh, of of CPIM or the or the communist parties you know they say they used to say you see but it means break down smash down my god people are failing to create anything but they are talking about destruction they are talking about breakdown so so this slogan only people the people of uh, of 21st century don't like that the youngsters don't like that so uh, the, the the cpim leaders uh, need to uh, give rethink about their uh, about their uh, what is the slogans right they used to say that so break down smash down and then say manchi na manbuna so not obeying will not obey cholche na cholbe na so so these are the slogans. These are the slogans. Can 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 these slogans uh, be relevant in 21st century when people are trying to create, when people are trying to make some innovations, when people are trying to build something? They are they are they are talking about destruction. They are talking about disobeying. They are talking against. Uh, they are uh, talking about um, about the destruction. They are talking about. Uh, disruption. They are talking about uh, about anti-industrialization, anti-bourgeois uh, 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 system, anti uh, anti what I say anti-developmental thoughts. They still cherish. So with these with these thoughts, how can they uh, expect that they will they will uh, uh, I mean get people's vote? So it is not possible. So so the leaders should give think, uh, give uh, it. Um, uh, I mean rethink about it. So, and disruptive politics, you know, chakka jam. They used to do the CPIM. I have seen that they they are their chakka jam policies. They used to so you no know, roadblock strikes, bonds, so many strikes, so many bonds. So what they did, what they did, they disrupted the normal life and property of the of the of their people, of the people. So after that, after disrupting, after spoiling, after killing people, they want to come to power. Is it possible? No, 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 no. It is not possible. So the, the political leaders of uh, the communists, of the uh, communist parties uh, should uh, think over their policies. They should change their policies radically. Otherwise, I, I don't think that in the near future they will be able to come back in power. All right. So um, the demanding and destroying political agenda of the left parties were uh, discarded by the people in 2011. 
uh, partly and absolutely in 2021. After 20, um, uh, in 2021, they did not give the Cong the CPIM and Congress, both of the both the parties did not give even a, they did not gain even a single MLA. They could not send even a single member in the legislative assembly. You see how horrible, how uh, how how distressful, and how pathetic uh, their situation um, uh, was. So I, I say that um, yeah, the, due to their destructive politics and due to their um, what I say bad governance, uh, still uh, people are, are are not satisfied with their performance, and uh, maybe the young generation are not aware of that. But you see, it is the age of uh, globalization. It is the age of more age of modernization, where computer, where internet, and where uh, where, where where every record is available within the uh, within the uh, with, what you say within the um, uh, within the uh, the the the, the, the uh, limits or within the hands within the reach sorry within the reach of the people so uh, if you want to get any information if you want to get any record immediately you can get uh, uh, by typing in google or maybe in wikipedia or in in many sources and in libraries and there are so many sources so e-libraries are there e newspapers are there archives are there so it is available so that is why i say that now in the 21st century the people who want to come to power must think about the interest of the people must think about the holistic development of the people not destruction only holistic uh, development equality and uh, the words of equality the words of spread of uh, spread the message of love spread the major message of equality spread the message of uh, sympathy spread, uh, what i say spread the message of unity integrity uh, and um, uh, ethical questions ethical values uh, good education modern scientific education so all these things are required by people all right i would like to close the, this this video here in the in the next video I will uh, say about um, why uh, the, these, these are the simple reasons why uh, CPI in particularly and Congress were defeated in the last assembly elections. Now in the next video, I would like to tell you why the Bharatiya Janata Party or BJP was defeated in the 2021 elections because uh, uh, this video is already uh, crossed 12 minutes, right? In the next video, please watch the next video, right? Uh, to know why the Bharatiya Janata Party was defeated and could not cross three digits right thank you thank you for watching